planning a trip to London and don't know where to start? Well, we have a seven-day itinerary that's perfect for you. From the iconic Tower Bridge to the historical Churchill War Rooms, your journey will be filled with awe-inspiring sights. We've included public transport routes to get you from place to place, and a comfortable stay at the Park Grand London Kensington Hotel. You'll also enjoy traditional British cuisines for lunch and dinner. Now, are you ready to embark on this journey? Let's dive into day one, dive into day. Welcome to London, the city of royals and history. As the day winds down, we find ourselves comfortably settling into the Park Grand London Kensington Hotel, a stone's throw away from the vibrant heart of the city. The hotel's charm is only matched by its proximity to the picturesque Kensington Gardens, a perfect place for an evening stroll. As we wander through the tranquil paths of the park, the historic Kensington Palace, once the home of Queen Victoria, looms majestically in the near distance. As the evening chill sets in, a warm, inviting British eatery catches our attention. It's time to savor some classic British cuisine, from hearty shepherd's pie to the comforting fish and chips. After dinner, a leisurely walk back to the hotel under the city's twinkling lights is the perfect end to our first day in this incredible city. After a delightful dinner, get some rest. A thrilling adventure awaits tomorrow. Day two is all about exploring the iconic symbols of London. Our journey begins bright and early as we head to Buckingham Palace, the residence of the Queen. With the morning sun casting a golden glow on the palace, we hop on the underground, London's efficient public transport system. The journey from the Park Grand London Kensington Hotel to the palace is a breeze, with a quick change at Notting Hill Gate. Arriving at the palace, we are just in time for the changing of the guard ceremony. This spectacle of British pomp and pageantry is a feast for the eyes as the guards, clad in their red tunics and bearskin hats, march in perfect synchrony to the tunes of a military band. From the palace, we make our way to Big Ben, the world-famous clock tower. The chimes of Big Ben strike a chord within us, resonating with the rhythm of London itself. As we stand before this towering icon, we are reminded of the city's rich history and timeless charm. Our next destination is the Shard, a modern marvel that stands in stark contrast to the traditional architecture of Buckingham Palace and Big Ben. As Western Europe's tallest building, the Shard offers panoramic views of the city. Though it's a bit of a ride on the Jubilee Line from Westminster to London Bridge, the breathtaking view from the top is worth every minute. As for meals, we suggest grabbing a quick lunch at the Borough Market near London Bridge. With a diverse array of food stalls offering everything from artisanal cheeses to mouth-watering pies, it's a foodie's paradise. For dinner, why not try Rules in Covent Garden? Established in 1894, it's London's oldest restaurant and serves classic British dishes like roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. That's it for day two. Rest up for another day of exploration. Day three takes us deep into London's rich history. As the city awakens, we make our way to the Natural History Museum. This iconic institution is home to 80 million life and earth science specimens, spanning over 4.5 billion years. From the awe-inspiring dinosaur exhibit to the dazzling gemstones, the museum is a treasure trove of discovery. As we delve into the secrets of our natural world, we can't help but marvel at the museum's stunning architecture. The building itself is a masterpiece, a grand Romanesque structure that tells its own tale of history and art. After exploring the museum, we embark on a journey through time and politics to our next destination, 10 Downing Street. Now, you might think, isn't that the Prime Minister's residence? Can we visit? While it's true that this iconic address is the official residence of the UK's Prime Minister, the street itself is steeped in history and worth a visit. As we stroll down this famous street, we can almost hear the whispers of political intrigue and power echoing through the years. Feeling peckish? There's a quaint cafe nearby, perfect for a quick lunch. Indulge in some classic British fare, perhaps a hearty plowman's lunch, or a comforting shepherd's pie. Don't forget to pair it with a cup of traditional English tea. As dusk falls, we head to a popular British pub for dinner. Pubs are the heart of British social life, and this one offers a delightful array of dishes. Why not try the fish and chips, a British staple, or perhaps a succulent roast beef with Yorkshire pudding? Wash it down with a pint of local ale for a true taste of England. So there it is, our day brimming with history, culture, and delectable delights. Day three ends here. Tomorrow we sail into London's maritime past. Day four is all about London's maritime heritage. As the sun rises over the city, we'll start with a visit to the iconic Tower Bridge. This Victorian era marvel is not just a symbol of London, but a testament to the city's engineering prowess. 
walk along the glass floor walkway, a thrilling experience that offers a bird's eye view of the city and the River Thames below. Next, we set sail, metaphorically, to the HMS Belfast. Moored on the River Thames, this retired Royal Navy cruiser is a fascinating window into the city's naval history. You can explore all nine decks, from the engine rooms in the belly of the ship to the flag deck, where the commanding officer would issue orders. After a morning of exploration, it's time to fuel up. For lunch, we recommend a visit to the nearby Blueprint Cafe. Located on the first floor of the Design Museum, it offers breathtaking views of the Thames and a menu full of British classics with a modern twist. Post-lunch, we journey to the Tower of London. This historic castle is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and holds within its walls a thousand years of history. From the sparkling crown jewels to the infamous White Tower, this fortress is a treasure trove of stories and artifacts. As the day draws to a close, it's time to consider dinner options. A short walk from the Tower of London is the Ivory House, a charming restaurant set in a historic warehouse. Here you can enjoy a selection of British dishes while soaking up the atmosphere of St. Catherine Docks. Day four ends with a voyage back in time. Get ready for day five. From the heights of Tower Bridge to the depths of HMS Belfast and the timeless allure of the Tower of London, we've explored London's maritime past. Tomorrow, we delve into the city's wartime history and visit one of its most prestigious educational institutions. But for now, rest and rejuvenate, for the journey continues. Day five is dedicated to the wartime history and educational prowess of London. We start our journey at the Churchill War Rooms, an underground complex that served as the nerve center for Britain's war effort during World War II. Walking through its corridors, you'll feel the weight of history, the intensity of decisions made under pressure. It's a profound reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in times of crisis. From the echoes of wartime strategy, we move to the hallowed halls of Imperial College, one of the world's leading scientific institutions. Here, you'll witness the future taking shape, as brilliant minds grapple with complex equations and innovative ideas. It's a testament to the power of education and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As the day progresses, we'll indulge in quintessential British fare for lunch. Imagine a hearty plate of fish and chips or a warm, comforting shepherd's pie, the perfect fuel for our journey through history and science. For dinner, we'll suggest a traditional British pub. Picture yourself in a cozy, wood-paneled room, savoring a pint of ale and a plate of bangers and mash. It's the ideal way to end a day steeped in British history, culture, and innovation. As we end day five, prepare yourself for the final day of exploration. From the depths of the Churchill War Rooms to the heights of scientific discovery at Imperial College, we've seen the wide breadth of London's past, present, and future. Day six is a leisure day, perfect for shopping and relaxing. Start with a visit to Covent Garden, a hub of fashion and food, then, head over to King's Road for a blend of high-end boutiques and quirky independent shops. Lunch at a classic British pub, the Grenadier. Post-lunch, unwind at Hyde Park, perhaps with a leisurely boat ride on the Serpentine. For dinner, Dishoom Kensington offers a twist on traditional Indian cuisine. With day six, our exploration ends, but stay tuned for the departure details. As all good things come to an end, so does our London journey. We bid farewell to the comfort of the Park Grand London Kensington Hotel, as we pack our bags brimming with memories and souvenirs, we navigate our way back, reflecting on the week past with a heart full of gratitude for the experiences we've had. The hustle bustle of the city slowly fades as we move farther away. With this, our seven day London adventure concludes. Hope this itinerary helps you plan your perfect London trip. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join our community of explorers for more comprehensive travel guides, tips, and exciting adventures. Remember, the world is full of places waiting for you to uncover their secrets. So pack your bags, charge your cameras, and prepare for your next journey. Safe travels.